Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Since the last episode, I went ahead and did all my training off screen. I went ahead and got everybody, like, at least three to four to five levels for everybody, really. And along the way, um, Rydia and Ed learned a couple new spells. Rydia learned the stone spell. I forget what level she learned it on, but basically it just turns enemy to stone with one cast. Um, pretty much it's an instant death move, but I don't use it that much, so don't worry about that. And Edge learned the image spell. That's his last ninja spell. Basically, it works just like the blink spell. It made an image of himself and made some harder to hit. Yeah, you pretty much you have got three, four, five levels for everybody. So we are good to go. So we are going to continue our way along the land of monsters and hopefully reach the end of it today. And into more random battles. And conjurers. I've, I've seen plenty of you guys off screen during my training, so I, I don't need to see you anymore. And Clapper, yeah, all he does is use Blitz over and over and over again, which takes off 10% of your HP, so don't worry about that. But yeah, luckily this place is really short, this, this is the uh, second floor right here, and right here is the third floor already, so this, yeah, this is the last floor of this part, so. Yeah, we got some good treasure on this floor to be sure, that makes up for the uh, not-so-great treasure we found in the first couple floors. See, uh, Red Eyes, I've fought you guys before, so I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, looks like yeah, you see underneath the holes, there's like natural like structure down there, like buildings and stuff. Can't really quite tell what's down there, but there's stuff down there. Rachnies, I've seen you plenty. Yeah, as far as the, uh, the training goes, you want a really easy way about it. All you need to do, um, get into a battle with a conjurer and have him just keep summoning the monster over and over and over again. If you summons an imp, uh, don't even bother with that. I'll take way too long. I only do it if he summons either a clapper or what I did, I just got lucky and did it with a Rachnies since um they're weakness projectiles, so I had an Edge and Kane kill those pretty easily, so. Yeah, that's what I did. Just keep on killing the uh, monsters the conjurer calls up and then yeah, just leave the conjurer alive and you don't your experience points up the ass. It's ridiculous. Let's see, I yeah, do a little bit of healing up real quick. Let's see, yeah, those chests out to the left, I'll grab those in a second. Let's go up here first. Through a secret passage. Yeah, that's my HZ Bailey impersonation right there. And see, this chest right here, this has a very good item in it, but I want to make sure I'm fully healed first. And I am, so let's open it for monsters! And we get five warriors. That's just lovely. Well, let's have Ed soft them up with Blitz first. And then I'll already use Quake. It actually turns out, um, Rydia's Quake spell is actually stronger than uh, the Titan Summon, so... And it takes 10 less MP and deals a lot more damage. So, yeah. Yeah, that should... yeah, nice. That should soften them up, and then Quake will take care of the rest. Nice. You see that? Three or four thousand damage right there. Nice amount of experience points, too. And we get the Defense Sword. That has Cecil's name written all over it. This will pretty much be his main sword for, like... Oh god, a very good portion of the game. He has tats 106 right now, and it shoots up to 131. And raises defense by 8, so awesome. I think there's also some uh, other stat gains it has. I think it raises your vitality by... It's either 5, 10, or 15. I honestly don't remember. I have to look that up, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the yeah, defense sword will be... Cecil will be using that for quite some time. And let's see, yeah, we can head down there first, but I don't want to. Let's see, yeah. Um, okay, Arachnes, um, I don't know why the hell it attacked. I want to show off the defense sword, but it's... I'll have time to show it off in a little bit. Okay, first I want to grab these chests down here in the bottom left corner. Let's see, and loop around right up here, and here we go. We get no, go up there. No, up, idiot. Need it here too. Ooh, the poison axe and the ninja katana. The ninja katana is obviously for Edge. So let's see. Uh, let's keep him on the full moon. Well, actually, I'm not sure which one of these is stronger. So let me take a look. Tad power is 116 right now. That goes up to 126. And then from the middle katana to the full moon up to 134. So there you go. That's the best set up there. And the poison adds, that's the next best that's yeah, next best ads, excuse me, so if you have, if you have either Kane or Cecil using ads, just don't and he'll don't end of that to them. But for right now the Blizzard Spear is fine for Kane and the defense sword for Cecil, so. But yeah, that's all the treasure chests around here, so let's go off into that uh, teleporter pad we saw earlier. 
and see where it takes us. I wonder if it'll take us down to that structure down there below. Now, Rydia said before all the uh, monsters live here, but we don't know where. Maybe they live down here. Who knows? No, we'll find out in about three seconds. Ooh, oh yeah, it's here, here we go. Let's talk to some of these guys. And actually, yeah, there are some more treasure chests around here too. Yeah, you know, and the actual cave itself, I got all the chests there, so. Ooh, 3,000 GP, nice. Speaking of which, how much money do I have? Oh, I got a lot, good. We'll be using that, we'll be using pretty much a lot of that in a second. Um, anything interesting to say? We are the monsters. That's definitely the Sawn monsters. Ah, oh, okay. So I guess she kind of just chill down here, then when Rydia needs them, she calls them on her cell phone. I guess that's how calling works, I don't know. Hey, uh, okay, can you please move? You're on the teleporter. Let's see, oh, 2,000 GP. Nice. Let's go in this teleporter first, but first off, let's go back up in the teleporter and head down here. In this chest, we get the rat tail. But that's a tail symbol right there. You'll want to save that for much later in the game, so just keep it in your inventory. Yeah, we'll be using that later, so... Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely keep it. This is the Town of Monsters. There's a church of running rampant. And, holy crap, he's moving fast. Can I talk to him? Um, yeah, you're a freaking bird. Chuggerbows really can't talk, last time I checked. And so, yeah, there's a weapon and armor shop here. Go down! Thank you, Jesus. I kept hitting down, you kept, you kept going left, you moron. Yeah, like I was saying, there's a weapons and ar weapon and armor shop around here, but I'll be going there in a second. Um, did I miss where I wanted to go before? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I did. I'm stupid. Yeah, there's four chests down there that I want to go get. And the way there is in the first area, so let's run back there and do that real quick. See, what the hell did I miss that, though? I didn't even... I wasn't even paying attention. Let me see... Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, it's kind of... Not really blending it, but yeah, there's a teleporter right here, actually. Yeah, there's a little square right here. Which brings us right through here. Hey, what do we got here? We get... Ooh, samurai arrows. And a litzer. And another two. And... The samurai bow, nice. Let's give the uh, the bow to Rosa for sure. And the samurai arrows, they're just uh, a really really powerful arrow. They don't have any special effects with them. Like the mute arrows can sometimes silence enemies. Obviously, you have the uh, Medusa arrows, which can stone a monster. So we we'll definitely give with the bow. And let's see, as far as the arrows go, it's a 62 attack power from the samurai bow up to 74. But actually. Now I think about it, I think Rosa's right handed, so I actually think it's best to put the bow in her left hand and put the arrows in her right. I think, is that, is that better? Yeah, that's much better. I forgot about that. But yeah, for Rosa, at least for her, in her case, you'll put the bow in her left hand and the arrows in her right hand. So you attack power is 77 right there, so yeah, that's much, that's much, much better. I actually forgot about that. I forgot where I even heard about that in the first place, but oh well, no big deal. Watch it, yeah, it is kind of a big deal. Alright, now that we got those, now that's all the chests around here, so now let's go ahead and buy some stuff. Let's see, there's the yeah, item shop if, if, if you so need it. Uh, yeah, there's an inn in here too, uh, don't use it. It's really expensive, it's 1200 bucks, so don't worry about it. Yeah, let me sell some crap too while I'm here. Um, let's see, I want to keep the ice brand, get rid of the charm arrows, the chain whip. Get rid of that, get rid of the lightning arrows. Yeah, these elemental arrows, I never use them, so... Actually, you know what? It's best if you were selling stuff in bulk, just have the quantity be 99. Just so however many you have, you'll always sell all of them in one shot, so... Yeah, fire arrows, darkness arrows... Give the ice brand to throw for edge. The mute knife, eh, not worth it. Middle Titan, I'll keep that. Medusa arrows, screw those. And claws, get rid of these. Get rid of the axes. And get rid of the elven bow. There you go, and yeah, we just standard stuff around here. Um, I'll be, I'll be doing all my purchasing stuff off screen anyway, so. And then yeah, next episode I'll just, I'll just go over what I bought. So, yeah, let's head over to the weapon shop. We got some new stuff there too. Oh, hi, Mr. Bomb. Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. Oh, there's a church about here too. Hey, we'll be uh, in the library. We'll, we'll be in there in the next episode. We'll be we'll be doing our studying then. I don't feel like studying right now anyway. 
See, in the weapon shop. What we got here? That's, that's a, got some good stuff here. Let's get a... That's, no, I don't want a Blitz Whip. Let's get a, uh, a Laundry Tanner for Edge. And let's see. Charm Rod. I think we already have one of those. I'll buy one anyway. And I'll buy a Battle Lunar Staff for Rosa. Okay, I think that's about it for this episode, guys. So next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2, we will head off to the armor shop and head off to the library of the Town of Monsters. This has been IR Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.